Hello everybody, my name is Reapy Ron. welcome back to Killing Floor 2. Today we are going to be showing off the new map, which is Netherhold, and kind of some of the hidden things about it. So it's mostly to get some of these seasonal objectives out of the way. Now, some of these seasonal objectives are very self-explanatory and they don't really need to be in any sort of depth. Of course, you know, kill 15 bosses on any map, pretty straightforward. Uh, survive 15 waves on Endless, harder, higher on the new map, pretty straightforward as well. And then, of course, do the weekly on the new map. Pretty self-explanatory, but I wouldn't recommend doing it with the new weekly that was added, the Abandon All Hope. Because that mode is actually pretty difficult, and this is not a great map to be doing it on. I'd recommend a much larger open map, something like Nuked, Spillway, Steam Fortress, somewhere where you actually have a lot of room to maneuver. Um, and even then, it's still going to be rather difficult. So maybe hold off on that until like the Wild West London comes around, in which case it's really not that bad to get this. But the main two that we're going to be talking about is I'm Hearing Heartbeats, which is Find the Nether Heart. I'll show you where to do that. And the Purple Miasma, which is Unlock the Chapel and the Dining Hall Doors. So we're going to be playing as Berserker and who knows which location you could start at. But we started out here, which is Mission the outdoor-ish area, uh, which is actually not a bad place to actually try to fight a lot of these enemies. Because if you hang out around this area, enemies can come over the hill, they can spawn up above, and they can spawn uh, kind of out of the way over to the side. But at least you do have a place to fall back to, which is generally this cave, which even though Zeds can come out of there, it's open enough for you to actually be able to attack Zeds. And that's where, the last time I was streaming this, we played uh, Hell on Earth and more or less just held out there, which worked pretty well. And the way that you do this, at least one of the ways that you do this, is by coming down to this area. You can see the big old brimstone down below and the uh, organs above, I guess, where one of the traders is. This vent is what you need to break. And it can be kind of tricky as to where you need to hit it. This teleports you to this room. Once you break through, uh, I consider this like the hunting room. And this will open up those doors that you've seen outside. This is also a room that can spawn weapons. So right here, I just found a road redeemer. Uh, this can spawn tier two and tier three weapons. I have gotten lucky and found things like kaboom sticks here, which is really cool, uh, as well as a couple other weapons. But it opens up it's this door, which allows you to circle back around and it makes the uh, area a bit better to maneuver because otherwise this door is closed to you. You can also go in here. And any of the walls that glow purple like this, you can actually break which can also have weapons in them, and these can also spawn potentially tier 2 weapons, like this 1911. So you can get some really good weapons early on. The other doors that we need to open are these ones. And we can also find the Nether Heart, which is uh, through a breakable wall like the one that you just seen. There's a few breakable walls throughout this building, so the way that you open up some of these other doors is going into here. Once you're in this main room with the whatever satanic circle is going on and the hands with the heart in the middle, check behind uh, this pillar right here and flip this switch. Once you flip this switch, it'll open up these doors. They do take a second to open up though. And then this will let you come in here and this should give you the achievement. So there's usually ammo in here and once again, tier two weapons can be spawned in here as well. So you can get a lot of value uh, very early on from this map if you're willing to do this and just keep something alive, like how I'm keeping this little plot alive. <laughs> oh yeah, this door can also be broken open, All so you can get into here. Damn progress, no doubt. <laughs> and you can also break that door open, so you can create this way, this walkway. <laughs> this is actually a really good place to be too, because you have this long hallway here, and then. This area is not as good, but it's okay when trying to survive. New weapons can also spawn, even uh, strange weapons like the cock and burn, apparently. I haven't actually seen that on here before. And they usually respawn during the match, which is kind of useful. Now, if you want to find the nether heart, you have to find uh, this room, the tentacle room, the hentai room, whatever it is, and go over to this wall. As you can see, it's breakable. You break it open, you walk in here, and you see the heart. This counts for you finding the heart. There can also be weapons that spawn right there. Uh, usually I've only found tier one weapons, like shotgun, medic pistol, stuff like that. Nothing crazy. And I have found at least one more breakable wall downstairs, which is, um, well, let me try to find it. 
It's right here. This wall, you can break open, which leads to this wall, Sometimes which is also breakable, leading kid. out. Time to play. Hang on. This guy's still trying to beat me up. And this wall is also breakable, which goes underneath the stairs to this main room. So this wall is also breakable. So you can kind of maneuver your way around here. Those are all the breakable Perfect. walls that I found, and this got me all the Let's achievements. Uh, I actually did this when I was on stream, so somebody else did it, and then I just kind of had to figure this out because I didn't actually see them do half of this stuff. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any further questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. And if you guys would like to see more of my videos, be sure that you're subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post them. Special thanks to all of the supporters of the channel. I really do appreciate that. These are my members here on YouTube, my patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to be part of that, links down in the description below. They get early access to videos like this. And if you'd like to see my other killing floor, guides, tips, videos, whatever, check over here on this list. That'll give you uh, a good place to start. Thanks, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!